is what we call our three-person progression warm-up, where we start with three players on the court. In addition, you can add players to this drill. You would just put players in a line behind the baseline player. Okay? We have a left front player standing at the net, a baseline player, and a player in the setter's position. Okay? Their job will be to keep the ball in play and to keep the ball rotating. We'll start out only with overhead passing. Please just watch this side of the court, the other side of the court. Um, we'll be doing the same thing. Okay, Rhea? From the back court, we're passing the ball antenna height to the front court. The setter's position should be actually setting the ball. Antenna height from the back court to the front court. We're simulating a game situation so that left front is pretending to be a left front hitter, a right front hitter from the opposing side. As you notice, they switch positions. After every fifth contact, they will switch positions and they must problem solve how to switch positions without allowing the ball to hit the floor. Again, they're talking, calling the ball mine. The whole first round, the whole first progression step is simply overhead passing. The next step, when Sarah, number 12, gets back to where she started, will be underhand passing the ball. At this point now, Sarah will underhand pass the ball, and this is step two of the progression. Again, after five contacts, they will rotate, but we're going to allow them to rotate after three. This is step two of the progression. Ten, antenna height passes back. There you go. Okay, again, when number 12 comes back, this is when we kind of lose ball control. This is a ball control drill. Now, left front will hit the ball back at number 12. Now we've got a, a game-like warm-up. It's much like peppering that we do, but it's more like what actually takes place in a game situation. Again, they must problem solve as to who will take the ball when they rotate and change positions. I think this might be a drill that I stole from Mary Jo Pepler or John Kessel. Or, um, we just love this drill for warm-up. I don't know that the players love it for warm-up, but um, the coaching staff loves it. Coaches aren't involved in the warm-up. Coaches can walk around and correct technique and not be involved in actually. Are we back where we started? OK, so stop. In a normal, stay right where you are, in a normal, if we were practicing, this drill would continue. Depending on what level that you are actually playing the game at, you might stop here before moving on to the next progression. This might be all you do for your warm-up. If you think about it, they just warmed up passing, they warmed up setting, and they warmed up hitting. So that could take you back into your next step of serving. Now what we would like to do, though, is once everybody has finished, they've all contacted the ball five times, so we've gone through three steps, we move on to step four, okay? And they will communicate and the ball will not stop and one team will put the ball down. I'll take a ball, either one, this one. And the, the drill will continue going across the net. Okay, here we go. And they're actually trying to keep the ball in play. The hitter's trying to hit the ball cross court or to the middle of the court, not down the line, as Rhea just hit, OK? We start again, keep the ball in play. Let's go. We'd like to start the ball again where the error occurred, OK? So the ball would go to Rhea. She didn't dig. And you notice we're not jumping to hitting. We're not jumping to hit, Janelle. We're not jumping to hit. There. All we're doing is keeping the ball in play in a game-like situation. 
And again, they're rotating after every five contacts. Good. Stay deeper, baseline player, stay deeper. Okay, and the next step will be, will they rotate back to their starting spot? The next step will be that the outside hitter is allowed to jump and swing. But again, we're not trying to put the ball away. Good effort. Ball play. Good job. It's very difficult sometimes for us coaches to keep our mouths shut and let them problem solve. There you go. Now we've got in the last phase. Nice job, nice job. The other good thing about this drill, and that's good, the other good thing about this drill is it allows our players to play every position, and it doesn't specialize them into just playing the baseline position or just in the setter's position or just at left front. It makes them rotate around so that they're all doing everything. That way they can respect the fact that the setter has a tough job, and they know the outside hitter has a tough job. So in this drill, we're touching the ball at every different point of the court that we need to be good at. This is a very good warm-up drill that we want to use every day in our practice situation, if possible. It does take a little bit longer time to do it. That's why, again, it's up to you as a coach to take out parts that you don't want to do. Again, remember, allowing our players to hit balls at each other will make them have better control than just having the